In the previous videos, I talked about perennial and herb plants attracting beneficial predatory insects to help control the insects that eat and damage our plants. In this video, I am going to discuss some annuals that have plenty of pollen and nectar, which would attract beneficial insects to our garden, especially the predatory insects that help us control the bad ones. Most of the plants in my garden are perennials. I love perennials because I don't have to keep planting or replacing dead plants every year. But there's no harm in adding a few annuals here and there, especially the ones that attract beneficial insects. Adding annuals provides more opportunities for these friendly insects to visit our garden and hopefully find their place to stay. Before I start, let me explain what annual plants are. Annual plants are plants that complete their life cycle within one year, growing from seeds to mature plants, flowering, producing seeds, and then dying. Examples include petunias, sunflowers, and tomatoes. In colder climates, they're called annuals because they cannot survive winter's freezing temperatures. Once temperatures drop below freezing, these plants cannot withstand the cold and die off. As a result, they complete their entire life cycle within the warmer months of the year, typically spring to fall. In warmer climates where temperatures rarely or never drop below freezing, many annual plants can continue to grow and thrive year-round. In these warmer regions, they are often referred to as perennial or continuous flowering annuals. Despite the name annual, they may persist for several years, continuously producing flowers and seeds as long as environmental conditions remain favorable. The difference between annuals and perennials depends on their ability to withstand cold, not the length of their life cycle. In colder climates, annuals are called such because they complete their cycle within a year due to the onset of winter. In warmer climates, the same plants might persist beyond a year, behaving more like perennials or continuously flowering annuals. Sunflowers are tall, annual plants with large daisy-like flowers and edible seeds. They belong to the Asteraceae family and are known for their tall stems, large leaves, and vibrant flowers, which have a central disc surrounded by bright yellow petals. The flowers of sunflowers turn to face the sun during the day, a trait called heliotropism, especially noticeable in young plants. They typically bloom from midsummer to early fall, with flowers that are mostly yellow but can have vari variations like orange or red. They can grow between 5 to 10 feet tall and spread 1 to 2 feet wide. They thrive in sunny spots with well-drained soil, although they can adapt to different soil types. Sunflowers attract beneficial predatory insects such as ladybugs and lacewings due to their nectar and pollen. While they are generally resistant to pests and diseases, they can still suffer from issues like powdery mildew or fungal infections, which can be prevented with proper care like spacing and air circulation. Removing spent flowers can extend their blooming time and staking may be needed for their taller varieties. Cosmos is a type of flower that's famous for its colorful, daisy-like blooms. Its name comes from a Greek word that means harmony or order, reflecting the balanced appearance of its flowers. These plants feature fern-like leaves and bloom from early summer to fall, attracting pollinators such as bees and butterflies with their profusion of flowers in colors like white, pink, red, orange, and purple. They thrive in full sun and well-drained soil often grown as annuals but capable of behaving as perennials in warmer climates. Some varieties of cosmos can grow as tall as 6 feet and typically spread about 1 to 2 feet wide. Cosmos flowers entice beneficial insects like ladybugs, lacewings, and hoverflies with their abundant nectar and pollen, aiding in natural pest control. 
While typically resilient to pests and diseases, they may occasionally encounter issues such as powdery mildew, cosmos are low maintenance, requiring regular watering, and deadheading for continuous blooming. Marigolds are annual plants known for their dense clusters of flowers and strong scent. Marigold flowers typically have multiple layers of petals, creating a pom-pom-like appearance. They bloom profusely from late spring to fall in shades of yellow, orange, and red, some featuring bicolored blooms. Their flowering period depend on the species and growing conditions. They are recognized for their long-lasting blooms throughout the growing season. Marigolds vary in size, ranging from 6 inches to 3 feet tall. Preferring full sun and well-drained soil, they are adaptable to various soil types. They are annuals, but they can behave as perennials in warmer climates. Marigold attracts beneficial insects such as ladybugs, lacewings, and parasitic wasps due to their bright blooms and aromatic foliage, providing abundant sources of nectar and pollen. These insects aid in pest control, making marigolds valuable companion plants. While generally resistant to pests and diseases, they can occasionally be affected by issues such as powdery mildew, root rot, and fungal infections. Regular watering and deadheading spent flowers can prolong the blooming period and maintain their vibrant appearance. Zinnias are flowering plants popular for their vibrant and diverse blooms. They come in many shapes and sizes from single to fully double flowers and are found in shades like red, pink, orange, yellow, purple, and white. They typically bloom from late spring or early summer until the first frost, providing continuous color throughout the growing season. They can be short or tall, ranging from 6 inches to 3 feet in height, and 6 to 18 inches in width. They thrive in sunny spots with good drainage. They're grown in gardens, borders, containers, and as cut flowers. Zinnias are annual in colder climates, but they can be perennial in warmer climates, depending on the variety and climate conditions. They attract beneficial predatory insects such as ladybugs, lacewings, and parasitic wasps. These insects are drawn to zinnias for their abundant nectar and pollen, which serve as essential food sources. Beneficial predatory insects help control garden pests, making zinnias valuable companion plants. While zinnias are generally resistant to diseases, they can occasionally be affected by issues such as powdery mildew, fungal infections, and bacterial leaf spot. Definitely powdery mildew. Because I've had that problem with my zinnias in my garden, my garden in previous years was a bit crowded. Maintenance of zinnias involves regular watering, especially during dry spells, and deadheading spent flowers to encourage continuous blooming. Snapdragon is a well-known flower loved for its unique blossoms and bright colors. The flowers of snapdragons are tubular and come in a variety of colors including red, orange, yellow, pink, white, and purple. They often feature contrasting spots or streaks adding to their visual appeal. They bloom from late spring to early summer and may continue blooming throughout the season, especially if deadheaded regularly. Snapdragons vary in size, usually growing between 6 inches to 3 feet tall and 6 to 18 inches wide. They thrive in sunny or partially shaded spots with well-drained soil, and they are tough enough to handle light frost. Snapdragons attract beneficial insects such as ladybugs, lacewings, hoverflies, and parasitic wasps with their nectar and pollen serving as essential food sources. These insects help deter pests like aphids, whiteflies, and caterpillars, making snapdragons excellent for gardens. Snapdragons are generally resistant to pests and diseases, but they might get rust 
powdery mildew, or fungal leaf spots. Removing old flowers encourages this plant to continuous blooming. Trimming back any leggy growth also helps maintain a tidy appearance. Petunia is a well-liked plant known for its colorful flowers and adaptability in gardens and pots. Its name, Petunia, comes from the Native American word pitun, meaning tobacco. The flowers of petunias are trumpet-shaped and come in various colors like pink, purple, red, white, yellow, and bicolors. Some varieties have ruffled or fringed petals. They typically bloom from late spring to fall, producing flowers continuously throughout the growing season. In size, petunias can vary but generally grow 6 to 18 inches tall and spread 12 to 36 inches wide. They prefer full sun to partial shade and well-drained soil. They grow well in a variety of garden settings including borders, containers, hanging baskets, and flower beds. They are generally considered annuals but may behave as short-lived perennials in warmer climates. Petunias attract helpful insects like ladybugs, lacewings, hoverflies, and parasitic wasps. These insects are drawn to this plant for their nectar and pollen. While petunias are relatively low-maintenance plants, they may be susceptible to diseases such as powdery mildew, botrytis blight, and root rot, especially in humid conditions. Regular watering, especially during dry spells, removing old flowers, and occasionally trimming and fertilizing can also help maintain vigorous growth and abundant flowering throughout the season. Alyssum is a low-growing flowering plant known for its delicate blooms and sweet scent. It forms dense clusters of small flowers in colors like white, pink, purple, and lavender, resembling a floral carpet. It typically blooms from spring to early summer and can continue flowering occasionally in cooler climates. Alyssum plants are short, growing between 4 to 12 inches tall and spreading 6 to 18 inches wide, making them suitable for ground cover, borders, rock gardens, and containers. They thrive in sunny to partially shaded areas with well-drained soil and can tolerate dry conditions once established. Alyssum attracts beneficial insects like ladybugs, lacewings, hoverflies, and parasitic wasps which help control garden pests such as aphids and caterpillars. However, it may encounter issues like powdery mildew, damping off, and aphid infestations. Regular removal of spent flowers and pruning of leggy growth can help maintain continuous blooming and keep the plant neat and compact. By planting a mixture of these plants in gardens, we can attract beneficial insects. These plants not only look nice, but also provide homes and food for helpful bugs. Whether it's the colorful flowers of perennials, the fragrant leaves of herbs, or the seasonal beauty of annuals, each type helps control pests and keeps gardens healthy. By growing these diverse plants, allows gardeners to create lively environments that benefit both plants and beneficial insects. Keep in mind that the plants I mentioned in these videos are only a few examples of the beneficial plants. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, and feel free to share this video with your friends. Your comments would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay updated for new videos. Again, thank you and see you next time. Happy gardening!